Today we're going to go over exactly how to set up your time frame setup. Uh, you know, something very simple to do, but when I first got Thinkorswim, you know, there's so many buttons, so many places to go. I uh, just don't know where to start. So I'm going to start with the basics, and that's the time frame setup. Now, uh, in case you're not seeing the chart here, you're going to go to this little menu on the top right, and make sure you go to Show Gadget, and click on Chart. Once you do that, you should see your chart up and ready. Let me get rid of this other stuff here just so we have a clearer picture. Beautiful. Now, you have this little menu right up here. It has a lot of stuff. Pattern, study, drawings, style. And right next to style, we have the time frame setup. Now, when we click on that here, we'll have all the options. Sometimes uh, you have some that are already pre-populated by Thinkorswim, but let's say we want to make our own. We're going to come down here to customize list. And I'm going to delete a few of these here so we could just start from scratch. Now, my personal favorite is the three day, one minute time frame. Okay, so we're going to go to add time frame. And when you do that, you have a few aggregation types time, tick, range. And the most common is time, and that's what I personally use. And we're going to click on intraday. So that way it's only for that day or a few days. Next is going to be the time interval. And you have a lot of options here, one day, two days, three days, four days. It goes all the way to 360. But in this case, we're going to make a three-day, one-minute chart. So we'll click on three days. And next is the aggregation period. Now, you could use this slider right here if you want. It's a lot quicker, but there is a drop-down that you could go through. It goes up to four hours in the drop-down. And let's click one minute. Once we do that, we're going to hit add. Boom. There it is, three day, one minute. And you always wanna make sure you hit apply. So that way it saves your changes. Now we also wanna add a six month, one day chart, which is my second favorite. So we'll go back to add time frame, click on the daily, and we'll go ahead and find six months. There we go. And then the aggregation period has a few options, day, two day, three days. But again, we wanna make a six month, one day chart. So we'll click on day, hit add, apply. Now because these are the two most common that we want to use, I want to get them up to the top of my list and that's another cool feature this has. So we'll click on three day one minute and you have move up, move down. We'll just move this up to the top here and we'll do the same thing with the six month one day. Now uh, I usually put these in order and as you can see I have a few others, a five day two minute five day, five minute. So then before it goes to day, I'll go ahead and use this right here. Um, let me put it right below the six month, 30 minute. So there we go, six month, one day, one year, one day, three year weekly, the maximum weekly. But now I have all my time frames in the order that pleases me and that I like the most. And we'll hit apply and we'll hit okay. And once we've done that, We'll never have to go ahead and create those time frames again. They're now saved in our favorites right here in the order that we set them up in. So if I want to you know, go to three day one or right here, uh, but if I want to switch real quick to a six month one day, boom, there it is immediately. All right. And they're there quickly to access here in the system. Now, another thing that's very important to know is, um, you know, you have the, the magnifying glasses down here that you can use. Uh, might be uh, cut out here. So let me. There we go. Uh, right here we have these magnifying glasses and we could zoom out. There's the six month, one day, full, full, view, full view. But if I wanna zoom in onto the actual day, let's say I zoom in really far and things start to kinda of get crowded. You have this little section here where you click on it and if you click auto, it'll automatically make sure that everything you're looking at is in the screen. So that's another little trick that you may wanna use or need to use when you're changing your time frames. We could go right back to the three day, one minute. Boom, there we go. And there's our three day, one minute. We scroll left to right. But if we want to zoom in, we can do that as well. Get a closer view on things. And uh, obviously because today is Saturday, you know, everything's closed, but here's Friday's chart on the three day, one minute. So each one of these tickers here is for one minute when we're on the three day, one minute chart. And that's how you set up your time frame setup.